There is yet a new study out there that has used a different way to see if there is any connection between childhood vaccinations and autism. CDC researchers studied more than 200 kids diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder and then compared them to 700 kids without. They looked at how much antigen the kids had been exposed to in their first two years. Antigen is the substance in vaccines that make the immune system develop antibodies against the disease. Well, they found that the amount of antigen in the children with autism was the same as that of kids without the disorder. Joining us now for more reaction and insight on the study is Helen DeVos Children's Hospital pediatrician, Dr. Dan McGee. Doctor, thanks for coming in tonight. It's a study that uses new methodology, but it is, is it going to end this debate and the concern about the link that some people believe there is with vaccines and autism? Well, this is yet another study that tells us what most pediatricians have known all along. Vaccines do not cause autism. In this study, they kind of just counted things a different way. They looked at the number of bits of protein in each vaccine, added them all up over a period of time, and compared children with autism and without, and there's no difference. Certainly you've heard these concerns as a pediatrician for moms who come in and say, you know, I just don't want my child bombarded with so many vaccines at once. There's kind of a, a visceral reaction. You feel like the child might be in danger somehow. Well, this is called the multiple antigen theory. And what I always tell parents is your child gets more antigens every time they put their face in the carpet than they will from any shots that I'm going to give them. You're saying that the body's all constantly being bombarded by something. Anytime you eat, anytime you drink, anytime you breathe, your body is being exposed to antigens. So the fact that they're getting five in one vaccine and three in another, as opposed to hundreds every time they go outside, to me makes no difference. Just try kissing the dog sometimes, see how many you get that time. Okay, so is this the advice you give the parents when they come in? They kind of talk them off the ledge. Right, right. It's for the people that that's their objection, that, that's what I try to tell them. We have been hearing, of course, that there is a spike uh, that in the cases in diagnosis of autism. Have we been able to pinpoint exactly why that's happening? Are we getting better at diagnosing it, or are there indeed more cases out there? Well, it's probably multifactorial. There is probably a heightened awareness for diagnosing it. There are certain agents that we know are, make children more susceptible to autism. Certain drugs that mom takes during pregnancy can lead to a higher incidence of incidence of autism. The age of mom when she has a baby can lead to a higher incidence of autism. So there are associations, but vaccines are not one of them. Do you, can, do you anticipate further studies about this, maybe this link between vaccines or autism, or is this the final say? Well, I don't think there's ever a final answer, but I hope that this helps to yet put another nail in the coffin on the argument that vaccines cause autism, because yeah. they just don't. Okay. Dr. Dan McGee with Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, pediatrician there. Thanks for coming in. Have a sure. good holiday. Stay with us. Uh, NBC Nightly News continues coverage on this study. Dr. Nancy Snyderman is going to be breaking down the results. Is it a reality check from the CDC? Nightly News is at 630 right here on Wood TV 8.